So this is our fifth video, for this chapter and last. And now we're gonna do some harder stuff. And I realized it's chapter 8.5. I've been labeling it wrong the whole time. So change your notes, it's chapter 8.5, factoring A equals one. So here's a harder one. I'm gonna use the diamond in the box method, not that we have to, but um, I like that method. It keeps things organized. Um, we could just think about what multiplies to what and adds to what, and we could, but when we see it done the first time, the diamond in the box method, then maybe you can look at it as a guess and check. So to start off with, let's make the diamond. So the diamond gets this term times this term in the top, negative 72, x to the fourth, y squared. In the bottom goes the middle term, negative 14, x squared, y. Now, I should emphasize, I checked for greatest common factors. This has x's in it and only x's in it. This term doesn't have any x's in it. There are no greatest common factors. So we are looking for two numbers that, or two terms that multiply to this top one and add to this bottom one. Well, their variable part must be x squared y, because if they're gonna add together, they have to have x squared y in them. And it so happens that x squared y times x squared y does equal x to the fourth y squared. So that's good. This is negative. That means one of them is negative and one is positive. That means we're looking for two numbers whose sum is negative 14 or the numeric values of them are a difference because when you add a positive and negative, you happen to have a difference. So we're looking for two things that have a difference of 14 and add to 72. I'm gonna actually do a little factor tree, a little, little run of factors on the side just to um, get some factors down. Let's see, two and 36. That's not a difference of 14. Three and I think 24. That's not a difference of 14. Four and I think four and 18, right? Four times 18 is 72. Yeah, four, four times 10 is, yeah, definitely. Four times 18 is 72. That's a difference of 14. So we need this 18 to be the, the negative value so that we wind up with negative 14. And we need the four to be the positive value. So we wind up with negative 18 plus four is negative 14. These two terms add to this and multiply to this. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna take the box. And in the box goes the first term and the last term. And these two terms get these two things. Oh my God, they're gonna fit. Negative 18 x squared y and four x squared y. This is positive. All right, take the greatest common factor. That's x squared. Take the greatest common factor. That's plus four y. Take the greatest common factor. That's x squared. The greatest common factor. Um, negative 18 goes into 72. So negative 18 y. Okay, so we're done. x squared plus four y times x squared minus 18 y. Now, you don't have to use the diamond in the box to do a hard problem like this. You do have to realize that if x to the fourth is here, and x squared is here, and there's no x here, that means there's no greatest common factor of x, that these two terms need to be x squared so that they multiply to x to the fourth. And back here, if you have y squared and y and nothing, well, then you're gonna have a y and a y so that our lasts multiply to y squared. And our middle terms come out, four y times x squared, that's gonna be an x squared x squared y term and 18y times x squared, that's gonna be an xy term. And we're done.